that morning that really gave me the boost that I needed to be able to do what God told me to do. I was there in the front of the church with really people to come, welcoming them like that. And I saw uh, three uh, faces, Nabot, it looked uh, a little familiar, but uh, somehow it looked like a Filipino. So I welcomed them, and then I asked, Ma, Filipino ba kayo? And they said, uh, yeah. So I was happy going, where are you from? So they mentioned Sterling, which was uh, 30 minutes away from the church. So I was happy to know that na, the na Adventists and Filipinos were not too far away, which we can reach out to and hopefully make a part of the church. And so in the process of this uh, talking, one guy's name is Aldrin, and he has a visitor. His mom was there, which is was from New York, and visit lang because they have a host who came just on Tuesday that same week. He comes a uh, uh, instructor from MSU Nahawan. And she's working on her uh, PhD in marine biology, and she was given nine months to do her laboratory work at George Washington University, which is in Ashburn, Samoa. So, um, and you know what they did is they prayed that day. Sana, uh, first good na sabat ng kung saan professor. Then she said, well, let's go to a church opening, and I think para you feel at home. They thought of going to Maryland because there's no capital church. Which is one hour away. Truly, you man, one hour away. So, Aldrin decided, he's the one who's from Sterling, he decided to come to Eastburn, regardless of the Sayanadito, because it's a closed church. And also, his website, he doesn't want a picture, nana, 